Hello, ladies and gentlemen, loyal Imperial citizens and rebel scum alike. Welcome to another Leah Maiden gameplay video. Back with more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes today, where we're going to be unlocking Jedi training Rey through her Heroes Journey event. So here goes nothing. Let's take a look. All right, so here we go, Ray Jedi training. Okay, so um, there's actually only one team that you can use for this event. It's the team you have to use. Uh, they recommend, well, the requirements are seven star, but then they recommend gear tier nine, ability level seven, and mark five mods. So this is the team here. I've got that minimum in place there. The mods are nothing special. They're just whatever was recommended. So I've done no no modding, no special modding. I've just thrown in five dot mods as they were recommended by the game. So no special attention to that. Gear level nine and obviously um, seven stars. And I upgraded the ability levels. I think they're all at uh, level eight except for Zetas. I've not used any Zetas. So let's give this a go. I have no idea what to expect. I've never looked at this event at all. Um, so tier one, you only need six star characters ray finn and bb8 and we're going to be getting 50 shards of jedi training ray so finn's in the leader slot that's exactly what we want uh let's let's give it a go let's see how we do here with this minimum minimum level we gotta move all right so this looks like this is really easy just up against some uh first order troopers there never seen that riot control trooper before but boom so this is nothing that didn't even do anything Boom. So the first tier of the first tier is easy. Looks like this This is an exact rerun here. I don't even know if they have any more health. Oh, maybe they have a bit more health. But boom. No challenge so far. Just using the absolute minimum uh, to get through this. Boom. So that was um, Finn's ultimate there. Boom. So that was super easy. 50 shards in the bag. That was incredibly easy. Um, no challenge there at all. So minimum levels there. I guess I have them at 7 star, so it's 50 out of 330. So Ray, Jedi Training Ray, of course, doesn't unlock. Um, a 5 star she unlocks with a full 7 star, so you need all 330 shards first. So it's going to be a bit of a long journey. Um, okay, so tier 2. Let's see how difficult this is. So 7 star this time. Finn, BB-8, Han Solo, and Chewie, the veteran smuggler versions. Again, we got Finn in the leader slot. That's exactly what we want. So let's go. Let's see how we do. Hopefully it'll be a rerun. Some BB-8 noises and some Chewie noises. What? Indeed. Okay, so a little bit more. There's only one tier to this, obviously, but a little bit more of a, a challenge here. We've got more first order troopers. Oh, there's a stun there on the... Uh, Chewy, that sucks. Okay, so they're they're definitely holding up a little better the the enemy this time, but still, we're able to pretty easily slice through them. So far, no real challenge here in this mod in this uh, event. Get that taunt up, obviously on Finn there. Not sure we really need it, but hey, why not? Boom. Okay, landed a stun. So that's annoying. So those riot control people are landing those stuns. That is pretty annoying. Ouch. Okay, that's really annoying. There we go. So at least we blocked. And blocked some of those abilities there. But yeah, I mean, obviously we've done this. Even though this was this was a little tougher, um, there was there was no real competition. They landed a good few stuns on Finn when he had that taunt up, but boom. There we go. More shards in the bag. Easy peasy, another 50 shards. Okay, so we're 100, 100 shards on our way to that 330 total, nice. Okay, moving on to tier three, still no real challenge. So seven stars, Finn, veteran smuggler Han Solo, and veteran smuggler Chewie, and we're up against Captain Phasma this time. So we lost BB-8, so our squad is a little depleted right now and there's four tiers to this one so we'll just have to see how it goes i'm going to try and take out that officer first i think unless any of those troopers stop food there we go unless they start taunting so this riot control trooper is obviously a feature of this this hero's journey okay two officers this will not be difficult boom bye bye okay three of four 
Okay, a bunch of these riot guys. Now, these were the guys who were dropping all those, um... Stuns on Finn earlier. Okay, so we go. Oh, ouch. Okay, so it's a. Oh, no. Whoa, okay. So Finn got right out of that stun, otherwise, that would have been. There we go. Would have been quite nasty. <laughs> so these guys are, are kind of annoying. I mean, obviously, we are cutting through them, but landing these stuns is, is really annoying. That sucks. Bye bye. Okay, nothing we can't handle. We definitely took damage that time, though. Now, final encounter, so we're up against Phasma and some First Order Troopers. So we landed a stun on her, so that's great. She seems to be holding, too. Damn, they're just stunning the... Stunning the force out of Finn. Um, boom. Nice. Thank you, Chewy. And we got a taunt up. Not that they're really does very much. I guess it means that potentially that riot officer can keep landing stuns there. Okay, so these two are a pretty, a pretty good pair. Please, we took out Phasma early. That's what I would recommend to do, because these stuns are really annoying. Um, but, obviously we're doing this. It's a war of attrition and we have the advantage because it's three. Three against two. Boom. Bye-bye won't be long now. Oh, we got rid of that exposed there. He cleansed that. That was nice. Come on, guys. So close. So close. Boom. There we go. Sweet. Who's in charge there? Captain Phasma? I guess not, because we just took her out. Boom, victory. Another 50 shards. Okay, so we're almost halfway now. That's pretty good. Uh, and on to tier four. Seven star characters, uh, Ray Finn, and veteran smuggler Chewie. So no more Han. Um, is that because Han's dead? Is this kind of following? Because it's weird, because this is the, the last Jedi Ray that we're getting, but yeah. Um, Ray, we've got company. So they're planting explosives. That's the story here. And there's five tiers to this one. And we've lost Han. That might be because Han's dead. This seems to, I think, be kind of following along to the story, sort of, of the first the first movie, even though it's the last Jedi Ray, Jedi training ray that we're gonna be unlocking at the end of this. So this is kind of fun. So far, no real challenge. I mean that last that last tier was the most challenging one so far, but this one, again, we're cutting through. I mean, Scavenger Ray is really powerful. Um, and they keep stunning Finn, but that's fine. We've got Scavenger Ray there to drop all that damage, so... Not really worried about it. Boom. Final encounter. Alright, let's do this. Bye bye, officer. Okay, so we're definitely taking damage here, but again, it's a war of attrition that we are winning. getting that extra protection up though it's kind of annoying boom bye bye to you boom okay got this now three on three we've evened the odds oh so Finn's lost all of his protection there so I think we're going to do this no problem, but, you know, if, if if things hadn't gone our way, maybe with that RNG earlier, or we didn't have the, the gear level, I think Finn would be in trouble here, because he does take a lot, takes a lot of beatings from, from the enemy, and he took a lot of stuns, but yeah, I mean, we've done this. Boom. There we go. Mission completed. Tier 4 completed. Another 50 shards. So where are we at now? 200, 200 out of 330. 
No, thank you. Boom. Moving onwards and upwards to tier five. So yeah, just checking, there are seven tiers. So we're, we're pretty much almost there, guys. So seven star characters, Ray Finn and veteran Chewie. All right, let's give this a go. I can't believe he's dead. Okay, yeah, um, we have to keep moving. And then sad Chewie noises. So obviously this is kind of following the Force Awakens storyline here. Um, even though it is very much The Last Jedi, Jedi Training Ray, that we're going to be uh, getting at the end of it. But I guess that kind of makes sense. So you're taking her through the through the first movie to get to the, the Ray we meet in the second one. I guess that sort of, I guess that sort of makes sense. So I sort of did that in reverse, taking out the two troopers and then the officer. I normally go for the officer first because the officer obviously can give them... Um, advantage up um, so I normally try and take him out when possible but obviously the stormtroopers are gonna taunt whenever they can just like right there ouch those stuns are so annoying and those pilots hit so hard but yeah let's try and take out the officer if we can even though we're gonna keep getting stuns so wow so we're taking a lot more damage this turn oh my gosh look at Vin this does not look good at all. We're about to go into the, the last tier here and Finn has no protection and he's only down to pretty much half his life. Ouch. Okay, so this is this is not good because, oh my gosh, this is really not good. Finn is in trouble, folks. Oh no. No! We lost Finn. Okay, so this is the first challenge. Uh-oh. I don't know that we're going to be able to do this, guys. This is the first challenge. The challenge is real here on Tier 5. Okay, so we've got him down to 3, but now it's 3 on 1. Now, Scavenger Ray is tough. She deals, <laughs> she deals out a lot of damage, but she's not strong enough to take that. Boom. Well and truly defeated. Ouch. Wow. So tier five, stopped in our tracks at tier five. Okay, so, okay. Kinda stunned right now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, maybe that was just RNG. I mean, we are at the minimum, but this should be doable. So let's try this again. Let's see how we do. Round two, hopefully the force will be with us. Let's see. Okay. So, okay, so he taunt, that's, okay. So I didn't even notice before, but that is obviously why I took out the troopers first, because they both taunt right at the beginning. So you can't just focus on the officer. You gotta take out those troopers. Bye-bye. Okay, and then bye-bye officer. Okay, so that was pretty smooth. Everything looking good so far. Um, yeah, let's try. Oh my gosh, he dodged that. Wow. Okay, so now Ray doesn't have any protection either. If anything, this is going worse this time, I think. Wow. Okay, this is going a lot worse this time. <laughs> a lot worse. This is going a lot worse this time. So if it was RNG... It was favorable RNG the first time because we're about to die on the second phase, boom, of this tier. Defeated. Okay, so this was my attempt to complete Ray's hero journey at the minimum, the minimum level requirement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can throw some additional um, gear onto these guys, see what I can come up with, and I'll be back in a second and we're gonna try this again. Hopefully I don't actually have to farm and increase anyone's gear level. I'm just gonna try and throw on some gear pieces. Um, don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so um, as promised, I did not do anything fancy. Let's take a look. I literally just threw on some um, additional gear pieces. So I've thrown some gear onto Finn 
and I've thrown some gear onto Scavenger Ray. I didn't throw anything onto uh, Chewy. So basically, because I, I think we can do this. I think what we need is, oops, we need um, Finn to just be a little tougher and we need Ray to pack a little more of a punch. I think Chewy was fine. That second go, um, he he survived till the end. So let's do this. Third time lucky. I can't believe he's gone. We have to keep moving. Okay, let's go. Hopefully this is it. So, okay, so only one of them was taunting this time. Interesting. Well, I'm going to take it. So maybe there is RNG playing into this as well. But who cares? I think that you can kind of visibly see actually that Ray looks a little, a little beefier there with that extra, those extra gear pieces on. Boom. Bye bye. Okay, so I think we're actually in pretty good shape for for phase one there on this tier. Although that said, I mean this doesn't necessarily bode well for. Um, the additional tiers, tier 6 and 7, but if we can get through tier 5, um, I'll call this a win. And of course, we're still technically at the minimum here, because no one's moved up a gear level, so we are still gear 9. I just think maybe you need a few uh, gear pieces toward gear 10 on Finn and Ray, or at least I am. I mean, maybe you just need better mods, because I did not did not really mod this. I just went with basic mods on these. So either way, you could probably do it. Boom. Okay, so I think we're in a much better place because everyone still has protection. Oh, okay, Chewie doesn't have protection. Uh, he's the only one I didn't give any mod piece, uh, gear pieces to, of course. And we're about to lose protection on Finn. So this isn't perfect, but it's the best, it's the best shot we've had. We're in the best shape that we've been in um, for the beginning of tier three here. Oh, those dodges, terrible. Okay, so I'm taunting with Finn just to try and keep that damage off Ray, because if we can keep... Uh, it's really Ray and, and Chewie that are doing the damage. Boom! Look at that. Just as I was about to say, they're doing the damage output. And they definitely are. So even in the worst case scenario, if we end up losing Finn here, which I hope we don't, but we, we might, looking at that health right there, um, I think we can... Oh, okay, so close. So we're going to take him out there. Boom! Okay, we've got this. Like I said, even if we lose Finn, we've got this now. He's got some additional protection up there. Worth the taunt just to get that protection up. Okay, we've done this. That was all that was needed. Just a few extra gear pieces on Finn and Ray. And here we go. We're about to complete. Boom. Tier 5. Victory. Victory for those hard-earned shots. 50 extra shots hard-earned this time. 250. 80 more shots. We only need 80 more shots for the unlock, we're so close. Okay, so that was tier five, that was tough. Six, tier six, we're only down to Ray and Finn. So we've lost Chewy now as well. Let's see how we do. Uh-oh, we're not done yet. You're a monster. Ouch, so it's Ray and Finn versus Kylo Ren. This, this does not look too great, guys. Although he is exposed there, boom, that was a nice hit by Ray. Finn taking a lot of damage. We've got rid of all of Kylo's protection. Maybe this is doable. Yep, that exposure by... Oh, okay, Finn is taking a lot of damage. Now Kylo's not exposed anymore, and he's moving like a beast. Oh, bye-bye, Finn. Wait, awaken. Use the Force to face Kylo Ren. Yes, please. Whoa! What? Yes! Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That was it. Okay, we just had to hold on long enough to do that. That was awesome. I got actual chills there. Another 50 shards. That was reminiscent. It, again, it wasn't quite as good. I think the CLS event is still my favorite one, but that was pretty cool. That little cinematic moment there. CLS one is, is the best in my book, but that was awesome. So only two stars. I don't care. I'm going to take it. We're going to get the final 30 shards here. Um, for tier 7 and it's just Ray. Wow. You need a teacher. I can show you the ways of the force. The force? That wasn't a question. No, I said it as a question. Okay, so this is actually, we're actually getting to kind of play a little bit. Give us a time in addition, gain foresight for two turns. Physical damage to enemy, 25% chance to gain foresight. 
So a lot of foresight. Boom. Okay. This is nice. So this is kind of reminiscent of the CLS event. This is very cinematic. She dodged there with that foresight. Okay, we've got this. Look at this. So this isn't even really a fight. This is just for fun. And it is fun. Boom. Victory. There we go. Ray has arrived. Ray is in the building. The final 30 shards in the bag. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just unlocked Jedi Training Ray. Woo! Awesome. That is so cool. Those last two tiers, I was really worried. Activate, you betcha. Boom, here we go. I was really worried after tier five. I thought we were in serious trouble, but those last two are kind of just for fun. So if you can get over that hurdle of tier five, uh, you've got this. Boom, here we go. Jedi Training Ray. I'm really excited about owning Jedi Training Ray. So generally speaking, I'm not, not as much of a sequels fan as I am the, the OT and the prequels and you know the, the EU and Clone Wars and Rebels and everything like that. Um, I do still enjoy them, um, but but really, you know, Jedi Training Ray is a great character. Obviously, she's not a Galactic Legend. Again, if these are mid-level videos. I'm a mid-level player. Nowhere near Gal Galactic Legends. Um, but Jedi Training Ray is a great kind of mid-level character, and she's really key to completing the Sith Raid. So I'm really excited to get her geared up for that. There she is, and that's such a cool animation spinning that lightsaber. There we go. Awesome. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. Well, that actually was a lot of fun. As I said, worried initially after tier five. So my advice is you can totally do it at the minimum there. So that was the minimum. I didn't even bother with mods. I did upgrade the abilities a little bit. They were level eight instead of level, level seven, but I didn't use any Zetas. So level eight were possible just with Megas. And you can easily do this event. You might need to throw on a few pieces of gear to Ray and Finn to get over tier five. But once you've done that, you are golden. The last two tiers are just for fun. Just those, those cinematic visuals. And they are a lot of fun. Thank you so much for coming along on this hero's journey with me today and unlocking Jedi Training Ray. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. And if you did find it enjoyable, interesting, or entertaining in any way, please consider giving it a like, a thumbs up down below. As always, comments, criticisms, suggestions, welcome down below. I really love reading any comments that I get on these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for interacting. It really means a lot. And why not consider subscribing to the channel? I drop new videos for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and Marvel Strike Force every single week. Well, that's all for Liam Maiden gameplay today. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, look after each other. And remember, the Force will be with you. Always.